This week at the House of Valentina, we get a very special delivery that we're very excited to share with you. Love is definitely in the air at the House of Valentina this week. We've got some beautiful gift ideas for Valentine's Day to share with you, plus some outfits that you might want to wear for the special day and the days leading up. We've also got a decadent and chocolatey treat that we're going to be making with you. We even have a Valentine's Day table setting that you might even want to steal, but you'll have to stay tuned to the end to see what you think. Well, hello, my sweet friends. I am so excited that you are here today at the House of Valentina. Welcome. As you can tell, we've had a very exciting week here and <laughs> Let's just get this out of the way because the mirror has arrived and I absolutely love it. I'm freaking out over it. Even at regular price, this one's still a really, really good price for how big it is from RH. And the reason I ordered this one is because I couldn't find anything that, uh, anything online that was readily available, uh, yeah, that was big enough and anywhere near my budget. So this is actually a little bit budget friendly if you're looking for a humongous mirror because they are expensive and going to have it made custom would have been a lot more expensive. Do I have the guys that can do that? Yes, but it's it would have been at least double the price. So uh, RH is not the place that most of us think of as budget friendly, but if you don't have as big of a fireplace as I have, you could still replicate this look in your own home for a fraction of the price with uh, finds from Amazon. I've done a whole roundup of mirrors for you. So I'll leave a link for that for you because I really think that a big mirror over the fireplace is just the most elegant and wonderful thing. I just love the look. It reminds me of the homes that we've stayed in when we visited France, stayed in this beautiful, beautiful home there. Gosh, I think Landon was maybe two or was he four when we went? It's been a while, he's 15, okay? So it's been a while since we stayed there and it was just such a beautiful home. And I'll leave a link for you if it's still available to rent in case you're gonna be in Paris and wanna check it out. But it's my favorite thing. I love this sort of French style of having the mirror over the fireplace. I think it just, it's just beautiful. It's elegant, it's sophisticated. It reflects light and it just is so romantic and so lovely that, yeah, for me, I just adore it. So uh, let's get up closer. I mean, come here. Let's get closer. Come, come. <laughs> okay, so now you can see the color just a little bit more. And it is this like champagne, like silvery gold color that for me, Oh my gosh, I love this color so much because I like to mix my metals in a room and this is somewhere in between them. So it just goes with everything. So I will leave a link for this one as well because just in case you are looking for a humongous mirror, <laughs> this is definitely worth peeking at. And it, it does come in other sizes from RH. I just adore it. The other thing that I like to do before we move on to the other stuff that I have planned for us today because I have so many fun things planned for us today. We're literally gonna have the best day ever, okay? I've got Valentine's gifts that are coming in. I've got romantic outfits and an amazing recipe to share with you. I should have included all that in the beginning, but I got so excited about the mirror, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> Forgive me. I can't help it. When I get excited about something, I kind of freak out. So anyways, I'm going to have lots of, we're going to have like the best day ever. Okay. So one of the things that I love about the French style also, this is where I learned this was taking the fireplace and using it as a shelf. I still to this day love this idea. I have overstuffed mine. I have done a minimal look over the years. At the moment, I'm somewhere in between. Uh, these little vases are from Restoration Hardware. This beautiful bowl is actually from Wayfair, if you can believe that. It's got the moss in it that I found off of Amazon. Oh, we need to wet that and get it all even. And then I actually found this sphere at Home Goods, but I'll try to leave a link for something similar you can find online because the Home Goods, you know, you know how it is. Sometimes they have stuff and then sometimes you, you literally never see it again. <laughs> yeah, so that's the update on the mirror. I will tell you, a lot of you were asking if we hung it ourselves. No, 
we could not hang this ourselves. It is extremely heavy. So we actually got on, it's a little app or website called Thumbtack and found some amazing guys that came out and hung it for us because it's just too much for us. And when we have a job like that, the best time to know when DIY is too much for you is when you know you can't do it. Like just acknowledge that you cannot do it <laughs> and hire out the help. So there's nothing wrong with asking for help. But anyways, okay, let's sit down. I wanna share with you some of the Valentine's gifts that I've had coming in. And I just sent Jack to the store to get a couple ingredients for the dessert that we're gonna be making today. Ooh, I'm gonna show you that the table is set so beautifully as well. I'll share that with you in just a few minutes. But I wanna, while he's gone, I'll show you what I got him for his Valentine's Day gift and a few items that I've got in for um, other people in my life and a few favorites. So, all right, let's go sit down over here. Valentine's Day is coming very soon and I am so pumped because my earrings from Nord Green have been restocked. They are our video sponsor for today. You guys know I am a fanatic, fan addict, fanatic <laughs> of Nord Green. I absolutely adore their watches. I have for absolutely years. You guys have seen that I wear a Nord Green watch every single day. I have this beautiful collection of their watches. Today, I am wearing the pearl faced look. Look at that pearl face on this. Is that not one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen? And the chain detail on this watch is just to die for. I love these watches because the faces, they're so classic. They're so beautiful. They do come in multiple sizes. They also come in multiple colors for the face. I've got gold, I've got silver. You can do a mesh, you can do a chain, you can do the five link, you can do the three link, you can do leather in all different colors. I have literally loved this company for years. Literally since the inception of this company, I have had my watches from them and just adore them. The quality is just insane, especially for the price. I mean, it is just the best. And I just absolutely adore, <laughs> I just, I love the fact that this would make such a wonderful gift for Valentine's Day or birthday or just to treat yourself. Everything comes beautifully packaged. So when they asked me if I wanted to design my own earrings with them, I was like, what? <laughs> How fast can I say yes? Look at this gorgeous design. You guys know I love timeless, sophisticated jewelry. Well, clothing and home as well. And that's just the kind of girl I am. So I wanted to create an earring that would have that lasting quality to it, not just in style, but also the quality of the piece itself. And then, as you can tell, I have a little bit of a thing for pearls, pearl eye, pearlescent uh, faces, pearls, I literally wear pearls probably every single day. So we put the little pearl inside of the hoop and I just, adore these. Not only is Nord Green just amazing and has these beautiful products, but they also have an amazing give back program. So you get to choose if you want to give towards outreach related to uh, water, to education, uh, also the rainforest, and they're even B Corps certified. I don't know if you've ever looked at what that means, but they have to meet constantly up to very stringent rules and regulations in order to get that certification for environmental and social impact. So they have to continually get certified for that. It's incredible. So I know you guys are gonna love these items and if you're ready to do a little bit of shopping, definitely check out the earrings, definitely check out the watches. I placed an order for a couple of the boys in my house because they also love the watches and it was something that all of them were talking about. If you click my link down below and type in House of V, it's gonna get you 15% off site wide. There's a few small exclusions, but most of it's gonna count. So I'll leave all the details listed down below in the show notes, but I think you're gonna absolutely love your Nord Green purchases and so will your gift recipients. So yeah. Oh, and these are in limited quantities. So you wanna make sure you grab the earrings if you're wanting to get them because they'll sell out again. Okay, all right, let's talk about some other Valentine's gifts that I think you should be giving because this is what I'm giving to my friends and family and what I, a couple things I'm hoping I might get more of. <laughs> So Bonnie and Pop, man, they stole my heart over the holidays and they have come out with not one, but two beautiful sets 
of their chocolate, chocolate items. I mean, okay, the nut sets, amazing, amazing gift for the guys. Uh, I've got all this in a gift guide. If you're looking for it, I've got it over on the blog. But uh, these are absolutely incredible. Look at how it comes packaged inside. And then in here, uh, it does come individually wrapped, which is nice because if you don't, if the recipient doesn't want to, or you, <laughs> <laughs> sure, this won't be ours. It's totally gonna be ours once Jack see this, sees this. Uh, inside, they're individually wrapped so they can open them as they're ready for them, which is kind of nice. And I also tuck these into the kids' lunches as a little treat, so <laughs> yeah, really, really good. So there's one set, and it comes in this beautiful, beautiful, like, muted pink color, which of course, I love this kind of pink I really get into. And then we've got the other one that is all chocolates. Look at the packaging on this, so beautiful. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. Oh, <laughs> isn't this gorgeous? So I've been buying Bonnie and Pop off of Amazon. So really gourmet really beautiful been so pleased with the nut sets and the chocolate sets and everything the fruit um, the dried fruit amazing i just adore this company so highly suggest them then then another one of my favorite things to give at Valentine's Day, of course, is champagne flutes. I think we should be celebrating every day, but for sure, we need some pretty glassware to celebrate with. So I have a little bit of a collection. I've got these from Amazon that you guys know I just absolutely love with that fluting in them. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous and super duper affordable. But I also have these by Ralph Lauren that were definitely a bit of a splurge eye just adore this collection by Ralph Lauren. And I, this is what I'm hoping, maybe Jack will get us two more because we have enough just for us. <laughs> but I can't set the table with them just yet. So we try to buy these for special occasions for each other. And then I always like, if I'm gonna give them as a gift, to also include maybe a special beverage of choice that would go with them. It's just such a nice gift. And I've never had any complaints. Every time I ever give those, everybody always writes me when they're having their toast and they're just like, loved having this. So it's just such a nice gift that everyone really appreciates. Another gift that I'm hoping maybe Jack will clue into and get me another one <laughs> is the Candlefish Candles. I'm already working my way down on this one. So by Valentine's Day, it might be I just absolutely adore this candle. You guys know it. If you follow me on any platform, <laughs> you know. I don't shut up about this. This is the number eight. Ah, it smells like gardenias and like literally like a garden bouquet with gardenias as the main flower. It is just the most wonderful scent you will ever smell. It's just amazing. It's not too sweet, it's not too sticky. It's got a, an underlying kind of mossy scent to it and it is just amazing. So I've already taken it out of the little bag and started burning it, but it does come in a nice little bag when it ships and in a really nice box for gifting. The other thing I think you should add into this gift is the little, um, the little set, the little snuffer and the little trimmer. So you can see that the candle here has gotten too, the little wick has gotten too long. So I literally just take this and look at how it catches the whole shebang because I hate when inside of my candle, I have like the wick like floating in it and I'm like, ew, it just doesn't look very nice. So this little wick trimming kind of set is just absolutely incredible. Ooh, ooh, we need something to light with, hang on. Okay, so maybe you don't need the long ones <laughs> to light the small candle. I usually use these to either light the fireplace or to light multiple candles throughout the house. Um, I do just love these, but they do also come in the shorter size as well. So we are just gonna light this baby up and get this room smelling like home. This really makes my house smell like home. Like. It's wonderful. So you can see how low I've gotten that wick and now it's gonna burn way slower and give me longer with my candle. That makes me very happy <laughs> because I'm prone to burning through them too fast. Anyways, 
All right, you guys know that I absolutely love to give my gifts in baskets, and I found this beautiful, beautiful basket on Amazon, guys. Look at the little leatherette look on the side of it. I love the color. Oh, it's just beautiful. Love the texture of this one. I definitely think I will buy more of these. These would be beautiful, like inside of your closet or in a drawer. So absolutely stunning. Well, I have stuffed this with a few items that I just absolutely love. Let me share with you the one that I got for Jack before he gets home. His favorite scent right now is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. He loves this fragrance. And what he'll do is he will mix this with other fragrances as well, just to create a unique scent each day. So he's got some other favorites. I've got them on the gift guide for the guys. If you wanna do some shopping, definitely check that out. I'll have a link for it down below. But yeah, these and you know the little nut sets and some chocolates, great gifts for the guys. Definitely wanted to give that one a shout out. There's a gift guide for the women as well, for the ladies, <laughs> if you wanna check that out too. Some of the items on that list 100% include the Molten Brown. This is their rhubarb, delicious rhubarb and rose. This is one of my favorite scents that they sell. They come in this beautiful kind of peakish color, which of course feels so Valentine's Day, a little bit romantic, I had it turned wrong. <laughs> Either way, this makes such a nice gift to yourself or to someone else. I've got the liquid hand soap and the bath and shower gel. I pour this into the tub as well when I'm gonna take a nice long bubble bath. It just makes it smell so good. And again, not too sweet, not too sticky. It's just the right amount of sweetness and a little bit of underlying earthiness. That's the kind of fragrance I really enjoy. Oh, it just smells so good. So I suggest adding them into a basket with a little sea sponge. This is another item that I order off of Amazon and they are amazing. They're a few bucks, okay? And they look amazing sitting out. I always put them into my designs when I'm doing a bathroom, always. They are natural sea sponges and they have just such a beautiful texture and they're quite stiff if you've never owned one. They're quite stiff before you wet them, but once you wet them, they become really soft. And because they're so porous, they actually keep all the, they keep bacteria away. Uh, another product that I have found that I just adore, this is by Wonder Valley. This is their olive mud mask made here in the US of A. Magic on your skin. You're gonna wanna like cover your whole body with this because it's gonna make your skin so soft and so hydrated not greasy and oily at all. It is just wonderful. Look at how beautiful that is. Is that not just, I know, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's my favorite fragrances. <laughs> I just can't help but mention these because I don't know about you, but at Valentine's Day, I associate Valentine's Day with champagne and jewelry and chocolates and fragrance and a little bit of pampering, right? So this is Bois de Argent. I talk about it all the time. I didn't put it on today, so. Mm, I love it. It is just the most, it's the most soft and decadent kind of smell. It's, it's not too sweet. It's not too earthy either. There's no amber in this. A lot of times I order amber ones and you'd have to be a fan of amber to like those fragrances. This one is just so soft. It's got the most romantic smell to it. My little fragrance cocktail that I make is that I love to also add a spritz or two, if I'm being decadent, of Aaron's Mediterranean Honeysuckle Clementina. Now this one is limited edition. It's still available. I've got two backups already because I don't think they will come back out with it. And I lament that day. <laughs> I've already been starting to write like Erin Lauder herself on Instagram. Please bring this back. Please don't make this a temporary thing. Now they do have one that's very similar to this. It's a Mediterranean one. If it does no longer, they don't keep it, you know, the limited edition version of it out. But I also love the white cap on this one. It's just kind of perfect. And I, discovered this one last year before we went to Lake Como in Italy, and I love wearing it. So that combination together is just like me. I am having the best day ever. Let's chat about some romantic outfit ideas because you 
know, maybe you want to feel romantic at home or going out, or if you've got an office party, we've got you covered. So let's, uh, let me grab the little clothing rack of beautiful items and I'll share with you what I've got. Okay, so I've done, I've done a little bit of shopping. I can't help it, okay? I've been completely and utterly obsessed with these ruffle brow blouses, brouches. <laughs> She can't talk today. All right, you know, it's still early in the day. I'm still waking up, all right? I have been obsessed with these. This Lily Silk one is actually the one that I'm wearing today. And I wear this so obsessively that I was like, maybe I should get another one. <laughs> have a couple options and I just love it. The silk one is absolutely incredible. Lily Silk is always running great deals, so there's never a bad time to check out Lily Silk. So I'll leave a link for them along with the items here. But I actually just got this little jacket in from Amazon, okay? This beautiful jacket by a brand called Doelia. And I just adore this combination. It's just so feminine. And yet I've paired it up with my little black kind of faux leather pants here. These are the ones from The Gap. I'll leave those linked up for you as well. <laughs> but the buttons on this is, they're so beautiful. Look at the button action. And while I've got you there, check out how beautiful this fabric is. It is so well made. <laughs> I mean, blaze, jackets like this will set you back at least $3,500 starting point if you're looking at one of the designer brands. So I just kind of freaked because these are around a hundred bucks or less. So I'll leave a link for this as well. It's just so well made. The quality is insane. And these are the kind of jackets that I literally wear for years. And I didn't have one like this. So I'm so excited about it. I love it. Well, I've been wearing a lot of ruffly things lately. I just love getting into the whole like ruffle and that sort of like what we associate with feminine style, but really it's a little bit more of a Victorian thing. And I just love it. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous lace detail on the front. I think they actually call this broderie anglais in French. It's kind of more of like an eyelet lace and it is just absolutely stunning. I have been wearing this one nonstop. I mean, even the sleeve, gorgeous. Well, I have another one in cotton. I got this one at H&M. I think it's sold out now. I'll leave something similar linked up. I've got a couple from Brooks Brothers and some other places. They keep selling out, so apparently I'm not the only one who wants this style. So I've also ordered one from Amazon and uh, I was wearing it with a sweater, so I need to steam out this little shoulder probably just a little bit, but just totally freaked out about that beautiful pleating on the front of it. And it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous, ruffly little wrist on it. It's so cute, love it. Then I actually thought I'd ordered the same blouse in two colors. Well there's a little bit of a difference. The first one is in this beautiful, as I said before, my favorite kind of pink. It's kind of muted and soft. And this one with the ruffly top and the pleating in it and the simple ruffled little, uh, little wrist. Yeah, I told you I can't talk today. <laughs> Well, I also ordered this black one and this one has a little special surprise and then it has this beautiful broderie anglais on the wrist. So uh, I've been styling these up for our Amazon live event. So if you've watched those, you may have seen a few outfit ideas already from these, <sighs> but I love them. So I was looking for some like scoop neck kind of cardigans because I love to wear these either with a turtleneck or if I want this kind of detail, let me show it to you. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, that is so beautiful. So I was looking for some sweaters like this because I just didn't have that. I didn't have, I don't think I have anything like this actually. So I actually ordered the brown one first and went completely nuts when I saw the buttons on here. Look at the button detail on these sweaters. These are from Amazon. Amazon, guys. I know, you can't believe it. I can't believe it either. So I ordered it in the brown and then I immediately ordered it in this kind of beigey color. And then I was like, while I'm at it, let 
I just ordered the stripe because it has like that Celine kind of look to it. So I will definitely be wearing that with the coated jeans, but it'd be really cute with a pair of like just denim and you could do it with a sneaker. You could do it with a little heel. So that's where my mood is. Uh, it looks like Jack has just arrived. Hello. How are you? Here is my handsome hero who has uh, gone to the grocery store to get us some ingredients. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, um, yeah. So I was going to take them in and show them the beautiful flowers that you treated to me to a little early Yay. and the table setting. And then we're going to get started baking because we've got a fun treat to make. I know. I can't wait. So let me show you guys this amazing table setting and I will let you unpack. Yeah. All right, so in here, guys, oh, we got a little bit of messiness. We were uh, lounging here this morning <laughs> with Landon. He gets up really early, so yep, occasionally there is messiness in our house, but the table is set absolutely so beautifully. My husband sent me these flowers. I told him, hey, how about getting Valentine's a little early? And he took that very literally. <laughs> And you know what? I'm not mad about it because now I get to share them with you guys. We have this incredible French uh, uh, florist. I was like, what do you even call them? It's a shop. It's a florist. Are these not just some of the most beautiful flowers you have ever seen in your life? I mean, look at this tulip. I mean, oh my gosh, it's ruffly and beautiful. And then the roses as well. Oh my gosh. And the hydrangea have held up. I've had this now for about four days. So it is time for me to trim them down inside. So I need to take this out, clean the water, clean the container, and then trim the ends off of the flowers. That'll give me many more days of them. But I think they may actually be the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I'm just like, oh my gosh. It's like from another world. And they also included a little bit of evergreen in there, which I really appreciate because I think that it's just so seasonal and wintry and it is just gorgeous. Well, once I had those, then of course I needed to have a table setting. So I got out my Chual napkins, added the little pear to add a little green over here. These are the Amazon plates that I got with the little fluting. These a little chargers of the rattan are so nice because they're nice and firm and they don't move around on the table. And then this flatware is the one I've been obsessed with that I just absolutely love. It has that pewter look to it, but these are actually new. So again, another Amazon find. I don't have them lit at the moment, but <laughs> you guys know I've been obsessing over the fluted glassware that I got from the White Company. Uh, it may be sold out actually. So I'll leave a link for that one and the, like another option in case it is sold out. But because of that and the ornaments that I was obsessing over, I also went and got the candle holders as well. And I just love how beautiful and simple these things are. And I just have the kids just put it back. So it's never quite perfect because, you know, the kids have set it and put it back out on the table and that's okay. The main thing is, is that we actually sit down and eat dinner as a family. And I think you could definitely replicate this for Valentine's Day. We usually celebrate Valentine's Day with our kids and don't go out anywhere else. So I like to have a little, a little plan in place for celebrating with them, but yeah. All right, let's talk dessert, shall we? All right, we're in my kitchen because one of my favorite things to do at Valentine's Day is to make a special treat. And when I was a kid, my mom always made us chocolate pudding for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure if there was an actual connection to that, but I loved it when mom would make them in. She had those really thick amber cups. And I know she still has them. They were really nice and heavyweight. Well, I don't have those, but I do have these beautiful hobnail glasses. This is another one of my Amazon finds. <laughs> you can find so many things over there. Well, I was thinking, I couldn't decide which one I would put it into, but I was thinking that I could put my dessert into one of these and serve them on the table. And then it's really just like, as a kid, it was just like a novelty to be able to eat your dessert out of a cup. Well, Mom amped up the pudding over the years and she went from making us pudding to making us trifle. And she made this trifle with like Heath Bar and Kahlua and it was so good. 
So for years, even when I had moved out of our home, that was what I made all the time. Well, I got to where we were overseas and none of the stuff was available. You couldn't buy whip topping or Cool Whip. You couldn't buy brownie mixes. You could, definitely could not buy Heath Bar. And so I learned to adapt the recipe to where it's now kind of my own little beast. So I have today purchased Biscoff. This is something that was readily available in Europe and also actually oddly enough in Africa because it had like French imports. So instead I use Biscoff, I make my own pudding, I make my own brownies, and I was considering doing a little bit of an add-in today that I don't normally do. That may not go right, but we'll see. And maybe potentially add in some salted caramel. This is an oat milk based, uh, it's a non-dairy option and I was thinking I could try this as well. So I am very excited about this. I think we're gonna have a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna go actually switch into one of my sweaters rather than the blazer so that we can get to work here in the kitchen. All right, let's go. All right, so we are getting ready to make our own chocolate pudding. Now, when I say that, a lot of people get deer in the headlight looks and I'm like, no, actually making your own pudding is really simple. I started making my own pudding about 20 years ago. And once you've made your own pudding, you're never gonna wanna go back to the stuff out of the boxes, I promise. And it's really easy to make. So all we need to do is we've got some sugar, some cornstarch, some cocoa powder, some milk. We're gonna get that going, get it nice and bubbly, let it just nice and thicken. That's what that cornstarch is gonna do. And then afterwards we finish it with some nice chocolate chips and some butter and some vanilla. My ingredients are all vegan because I can't have dairy, but you can definitely do all regular milk products or it also works even if you wanna use vegan products as well. So I'm gonna get this thing going. I'm gonna get all this whisked up in here. Right, so look at this pudding already thickening up. So normally what I would do is I'd put this into smaller containers if I want to have it in like a glass or something like that. But since we're using it for the trifle, then I'm gonna actually pour this into this larger pan so it'll cool faster and set faster. So I'm literally just going to pour this in. See, nothing stuck to the bottom because we did such a good job stirring it. And then I'm just gonna put this with a little bit of saran wrap just over the top of it. And then it will be going into the refrigerator. You wanna come in here and get some? Of course. <laughs> now make sure you blow on it cause it's super hot, <laughs> okay? Never knew you did this when you baked. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. That is so good. Oh, it's right. decadent, isn't you it? You keep working and I'll, I'll clean this out. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is the part where I'm like, we'll just have pudding. <laughs> Forget all the other steps. Forget all the other steps. We're just gonna have pudding. I can dip my Biscoff in the... Yeah. <laughs> just remember it's hot. <laughs> Beautiful pudding. <laughs> All right guys, I've got the oven preheating and I've done two pans here. I gotta be honest, I think I'm gonna do the bigger one with the Kahlua. <laughs> Three out of five of us in this house can have alcohol. So I'm gonna go with a bigger pan for the one that's gonna get the Kahlua in it. But all I've done is uh, sprayed these pans down. See, there's the smaller one as well for the boys. But I've sprayed them down with Pam, their baking one has ended up being amazing. I used to foil line the pan and I found that if you use this, it's just gonna come right out. And since we're crumbling this up, I'm not as worried if it sticks, but you could always just use foil or parchment paper inside of your baking pans, but I just sprayed them down and this is really good stuff. So 
The amazing thing about these brownies is that there's the super fudgy kind. So these are not the cakey ones. They're super fudgy, which makes them really good for a trifle. They're really good just to eat by themselves as well. But the part that I love is that all the ingredients are sitting here and it takes like a second to just pour everything in here and whisk it. That's actually all there is to it. It is literally one pan. Now I've started to, I started a long time ago to use oil because I couldn't have butter and there weren't any butter substitutes out at the time. But if you prefer, you could use regular butter and then you would just melt that before and let it kind of slightly cool so it doesn't cook the eggs. But otherwise it literally is one bowl. It really is just that easy. So I'm just gonna pour all these ingredients in here, get them in these pans and get them in the oven. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't wait to taste test those too. All right, let's do this. All right, we are getting down to business here. I've got the glasses out on a gorgeous tray and the brownies have mostly cooled, but not too much because I may have actually waited a little too long. Now you can take your fingers and poke this in here or you can take a wooden spoon. Let's see, I'm just gonna take my little soup ladle and I'm gonna poke some holes in this baby. So I did end up doubling the recipe so I'd make sure I had enough brownies. <laughs> uh, honestly, whoever complains about having too many brownies? No one, okay? So I'm gonna take the one that we're gonna make. We're gonna booze this one up just a little bit as they say. Now you should measure, but we're not going to. <laughs> we're just gonna kind of pour a little bit of this Kahlua over the top here, okay? That may have been a little too much. That's not really possible. It's delicious. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna sink in and absorb into those brownies. All right, so then now, all, now all we have to do is pull all the ingredients together. Okay, we've got whipped topping. We've got Biscoff. I melted down that chocolate and it's really yummy. So I'm gonna definitely add that in. Now we need the pudding, the pudding. The pudding of dream, oh yeah. Nice and set in here. It's, pan is ever so slightly warm, but the pudding is actually set in there. Here, let me show you. Yeah, look at that. Look at that pudding, nice and set. It doesn't have to be completely set because these are gonna go back into the refrigerator, okay? So let me make myself a little room so I don't drop any of these precious ingredients. But yeah, this is the fun part because you get to be a little bit messy. So I like to start with the brownie on the bottom. And so I'm just gonna take this and oh yeah, that's got that Kahlua in there. And uh, yeah, you want it to not be too solid because otherwise then stuff doesn't sink into it. So I'm just gonna fill a glass. Then I'm gonna add a little bit. Whoa, look at how dense that chocolate pudding is. A little layer of chocolate pudding. Chocolate that's got that um, got that kind of caramelly taste in it. I'm gonna add a bit of that. Now, if you wanna do Heath Bar for this part, that is totally fine. You could do butterscotch, all kinds of fun stuff. Now, Biscoff. <laughs> I am going to take this and I'm gonna kind of crumple it up. You could leave it whole, but because my glass is kind of small, it would just, it would just make it kind of hard to sit it down in there and it would look kind of stuck in the middle, I think but you can use one cookie. You can, I'm gonna stop it like one in a bit. And then I think I'm gonna do one more layer. <laughs> So then literally 
all we're gonna do is take a little bit of that whip top. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so good. And then just kind of spread that out without getting those layers on the top, right? You don't want the, the stuff from the underneath coming up. You just wanna see the, the cool whip. Now, I do cheat. I don't make this from scratch, but overseas I did actually make mine from scratch. Um, but yeah, you can easily just do it. Um, the cocoa whip is just so good. So there we go. One down. Should we crumble a little and do a little uh, decorative feel over the top? Definitely makes it look a lot brighter. Look at how beautiful this is. And uh, let me know, do you guys put whip topping in the middle? I could have done that too. But um, yeah, I usually do it like this, let me know. But this is the thing, is that these trifles are all about making the ingredients and just enjoying them. So make it however you like, put it whatever container you want. You could easily also put this in a trifle dish if you wanted to, and you just wanna do a big one, but that's pretty near perfection. So I'm gonna make a couple more and I <laughs> all right, oh, look at me, I'm all loaded up. Jack has made me a beautiful cappuccino. Ooh, I love it. You gonna come join me? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I ended up putting whip topping in the middle of that baby. I mean, come Ooh. on, does that not look so good? Oh my gosh, this looks so oh, good. Oh, I guess we should just share one. Do you want to share one? <laughs> we don't need to eat one of these by ourselves. Um, yeah, we'll share one. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't even know. Like, trying to get down in there, I did kind of overstuff these just a little bit. Okay, so the truth is, is that this is going to taste amazing right now. Why don't you do that so you don't right. spill it on me? <laughs> yeah. This is going to taste amazing right now, but it's going to taste even better tomorrow. <laughs> this is one of those recipes that you could definitely make ahead. And also you can make for entertaining, it's really fun. And uh, we'll be sending out some of those extra glasses to some of our friends and neighbors to try. Yeah. But uh, here, cheers. Cheers. And uh, here, bon appetit. Oh man, oh man. That is really good. Oh, and delicious. <laughs> Well, romance was in the air today. I hope you guys felt it. We had a lot of fun hanging out with you. A lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with us as well. I'll leave all the details for all the items I've shown throughout the video down below. And I am going to do my best to get my recipe written up for you <laughs> in time for this to go live. Don't forget to check out that North Green discount code as well. So awesome. thank you again for hanging out with us. We will see you guys in the next one. Until then. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Wait, wait. Need some more? Yes. <laughs> now, now we gotta get down to there. I know, I wanna get down to Ooh. the... <laughs> get down to oh, the brownie. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Get your Sherpa on. Oh, you got your Sherpa on. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call. Us crazy, but things are finally right